Hi, in this video, we are going to learn how to pass data from a table view cell to another detail view. So let's say we want to, whenever we click onto a cell like this, and we are passed into a detail view. So here's how the app will look like after this video. We can click on one cell, and then we'll go to a detail view. That will show a very simple, like the full image. But in next video, after we finish this one, we can use something called static cells to update the information of a cell of a product, let's say. It's very much like what we see in the Instagram app after we edit an image and we are ready to send. Okay, so let's see how are we going to do that. So I will open up Xcode where we left off. So to do that, let's open up the main dot storyboard. The first thing we are going to need to do is we will need to design this uh, detail view. So very simple. For now, I will just drag out an image view from the object palette and I will make it uh, pretty large like that. But it is down below the navigation bar. Okay. So now I want to auto layout this one. So I will click or to uh, over the image view and control drag to the top layout guy okay and i want to have a spe vertical spacing between the image view to the top auto layout guy why do i want to do that well because we have this navigation bar over there if we just drag this one to the view it's not uh, very good okay so now i want to attach this one to three margin over there so I will do that and to three margin so that it is fills up the whole thing like that. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is I want to change the mode of this image view to be aspect fit. Okay. Over here like that aspect fit so that the image is not distorted. Okay. So I hope that by now you are familiar with um, auto layout. Because when you work with UI table view, especially things like custom cell or custom UI, you will use auto layout a lot and actually you use it all the time. If you are not familiar with auto layout, I think I will have a series for especially for auto layout and I hope that you will enjoy and you will attend that series. So in order for this detail view to work, we will need a view controller for that one. So I create a new detail view controller by over the file, new file. And we'll have a Coco Touch class. And this is a subclass of UI view controller. And I will name it product detail view controller. And next, I will just leave it um, where. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is I want to organize this a little bit. Just by um, just by habit, I will select those three, and I put it into group by new group from selection, and this is controllers, okay, okay. I misspell that one. It should be controllers, and this one is the view, right? Oh, it can be the controller, and this is main of the world is the view, so that is the view. And this is app delegate. We can leave it there. And that this is our model. All right. So let's open up the main door storyboard. And we need to have an outlet from this one to the um, product detail view controller, right? But first, we need to attach this view to its controller by going go over the ent um, identity inspector. And the class is product detail view controller. And then I can click on that and go over the uh, assistant editor. And we should be able to automatic to be the product detail view controller.squiff. If you don't see that, you can just go over manual and um, chase it like that. First, I will delete those code. All right. Okay. So first, I will need an outlet from this. To here, I call it product image view, like that one. And what else? 
I will need a product, right? The model of this, the model of this is a product. So I var product is a product. And I will use um, this one, the option. It is an optional. And how are we going to set this image view? Well, the best place to set these UI control is in view that load. Because when view that load is called, every outlet is set. So we can uh, set the outlet in view that load. I will override view that load. View that load. And don't forget to call super dot view that load. All we need to do right now is just um, product image view dot image equals product dot image. All right. And we will have to use product uh, question mark meaning that it's optional training, right? Because if it if product is nil, because this is a product question mark, if it is nil, meaning that there is no controller to set this, we'll need to set this model, right? If it is not set, meaning that it is nil, then we don't access the image myth, uh, property, and this one returns nil, okay? It, is, it doesn't crash. That's the way to use optional training is very good because we don't have to check uh, use if let or if something equals something and if there's not nil okay the way we use in objective c so this is very short way and it's also very safe all right all we need to do right now is just um go to the okay first thing first we will need to open the standard editor the way we're going to uh, segue again okay? we segue from this one to this from the cell when we tap on that and go to the detail view controller okay we will need that segue and we will need the identity of the identifier of this segue so i will click over that segue and the um inspector attribute inspector i want to have the identifier to be show detail all right so let's go over the Apple products table view controller. So I will go down here. All right. I will have a mark called um, navigation, meaning that the view controller navigation from this view to another view. All right. So I hope by now you know what are, we are going to do. The way we're going to pass data between one view to another view is very conventional, right? We use prepare for segue and the um, the table view is very special because we control drag from a prototype cell to the detail view so the the cell itself when we tap on the cell it's called the present uh, i'm sorry perform segue for us so all we need to do is we will have to implement the pre prepare for segue so let's implement that all right so first thing first we'll need to have the identifier right we have if let identifier equals segue dot identifier all right so if identifier is not nil then we can switch on identifier all right and the I am very like to I really like to use the switch on identifier because what if identifier has we have multiple views attached to that one right we we have many segues to attach this one and many screens okay so um, we want to check if it is the right identifier so it is the case that the identifier is show detail then we want to do something else by default we want to break okay just by default we want to break so how are we going to do this first thing first we will need to grab the destination view controller from this segue right so let's do that so let's product detail vc meaning that product detail view controller equals segue dot destination view controller and I will cast it down as product detail view controller. All right. And then 
I will need to grab the product, right? If you remember that we will need to pass the data between two views, right? We need to pass from this one the product to so that this product detail view controller have this product and then it, it can populate the data in view to load. How are we going to do that? And by the way, if you feel overwhelmed this, with these code, with the prepare for segue, with the navigation controller, with the segue, please, please check out my introduction to iOS development and in Swift, because in that we will go over not only Swift with things like class optional optional chaining, but also we will go over two full projects, so that we can get uh, very clearly very uh we can understand all the things with segway with identity uh with view controller life cycle okay so let's do that the way we're going to have the uh the product so that we can pass in is we'll need the index path right because if you remember the only way we can access the product lines and then we access the product in that lines is via the index path because the index path holds the information about the section about the row in that section right so how are we going to have that index path well it, this one is really special about table view because the sender okay the prepare for segue one it is passed with the sender and what is that sender that center is something we pass in when we use the perform segue with identifier, right? And then identifier, some string, right? And then the center is something, is any object, okay? So we would, in, in, the, um, in, the, uh, in the project, in the introduction to Swift series, in the introduction to iOS development series, we use the perform segue with identifier and we pass in an identifier which is the identifier of the segue and we have a sender is something we can pass in right maybe we pass in nil because we don't need to care about that but maybe we can pass in something that we can use in the prepare for segue right so table view is special because when we click on a view i'm sorry we when we click on a cell the table view pass in the cell, the cell itself, okay? So the table view pass in the cell as the sender. So that this sender is actually the cell in that table view, okay? How cool is that? So I can do something like if let, okay? I can actually let index path equals self dot table view dot index path for cell that is a method in table view and i can find the index path for this cell and well what is that cell it is the sender right so the sender but sender is any object question mark right so we need to cast it down as as ui table view cell like that okay but this one I'm sorry, this is UI table view cell. So this index path is optional. So we need to um, check that one. All right. What else? Now we want to have the product, right? Now we have the index path, then we can get the product that we want to uh, we want to use. But first, let's, let's um, run a helper method for this because i noticed that we use this one a lot like we got the index path and then we got the product line and then we got a product from the product line dot products right so that's a lot of stack so let's have a helper helper method all right and i will call this from product at index path right all I need to do is path in, pass in an index path and it is of type ns index path, right? It is of type this one, an index path, right? ns index path and it returns a product, okay? 
all need, we need to do is we do the same that we just uh, have been doing. We're to let product line equals product lines sub index path dot section, right? And then uh, return, we will return the product, which is product line dot products sub index path dot row. So that is our product, okay? So here we have that index path and it is not nil because we make sure that it is nil. We check that with the if let syntax. And again, if you are not familiar with those things, this is quite like in intermediate. So please check out the introduction to iOS development course, okay? So if let index path, so now we can use the product detail vc dot product right because the detail vc has a has the model of it is the product then we can pass in it using product line i'm sorry we can use product at index path okay we just create that and pass in the index path like that and we're all done over here so let's go over once again we have that prepare for segue and we check if it the show detail, then we will find the index path. If it is not nil, then we'll find the product that at that index path. And then we will pass in the product for the detail view controller. So let's run it. And again, when we got that product in the view the load, we will populate the image of the outlet. Okay. Remember, don't uh, populate the outlets, all the outlets in view the load, because it's the best place to do. Okay. If some some people are just like they think that when they prepare for segue or in view will appear or something, they populate the outlets. That is not correct and it is unsecure because at that time outlets are not set. Okay, so do it in view the load. Alright, so here our app so far. When we click on one, um, let's say the iOS, okay, we click on that one, we see the image. Okay. So one plus thing about this is these are very high definition. The images is incredibly high definition. I take it from the Apple website for press. So they make it like incredibly sharp. Okay, so we can see really sharp images. All right. Okay, so very good. In the next video, we're going to learn to use static cells in the table view. So stay tuned and I see you in the next video.